And today I'm going to show you how we can connect two Biomax red light panels together. And I'm going to connect this in here. And now from a high point of view, I've gone from the 900 which went to the hip height and they're both running. Hello, it's Alex here from alexfocus.com and today I'm going to show you how we can connect two Biomax red light panels together. So uh, beside me here I've got the Biomax 900 and then lower on the ground we have the Biomax 450. Now all of the Biomax panels, if you've seen my reviews on my website or on my YouTube channel, you will see I talk about the modular expansion capability. Uh, at the top here you've got a few little notches um, and at the bottom of each panel you've got some holes where those notches clip in effectively. Now, um, that is a pretty cool feature. Only a few red light companies offer this feature, uh, and it is pretty cool, I think, because what it means is you can go out and purchase, let's say, this Biomax 900 here, spend a thousand bucks or whatever, and get that, and then later on, you come into a bit more money, you decide to get a second one, or you get something like this, the Biomax 450, which is half the size of the 900. And what you can do, is you can clip them on top of each other or underneath. What that achieves, of course, is a larger treatment area because the Biomax 900, which I have here, is only 36 inches tall. I've never covered this in any of my videos and I've done a lot of videos on, on the Biomax lights and also on red light therapy. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a quick video showing you how easy it is to, to connect them together and of course the, um, the function, you know, how it works and the, the benefits um, that it will bring. Because pretty much done properly, you, you can control both panels just through the one control unit here, which is very cool. You don't have to set the timer on one, go to another one, set the timer, go to another one, set the timer. Plus, you only need one power cord. You don't need to have multiple power cords to, despite having multiple units. So it is pretty cool. So anyway, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna show you real quick how it works. Uh, I'm going to do up close on the on the panel. Then I'm going to join these two together. Then we're going to plug them in in the back and, and set everything up as per the instructions. Um, connect them all up, plug them in, test them out, and uh, show you guys how it, how it looks and how it works. If you have any questions, as always, leave them below. If you want to know more about these units, check out my reviews uh, either at alexfigures.com or on my YouTube channel. If you do want to buy any of these uh, panels, Use discount code Alex, it'll save you 5%, which is great. All right, so let's have a look at this. So we'll use the 450 um, to show you first. Top of it has these two metal notches. I don't know what you call them, but they stick out. They're built into the frame, right? So I don't know if you noticed, but while I was doing my introduction, I had these little metal, metal clasps uh, attached, and I actually unscrewed them. Now you use that if you want to hang this from a door hook or a nail or whatever. They screw in, two of them, and they go on the wall, simple. If you don't want to do that, and in fact you want to connect them together, what you do is you unscrew them so the bare notches are like so. And then at the bottom of a panel, so for instance the bottom of the 950 over there, there are keyholes like so. All right, now you can probably figure out how it works. Those little notches go in the big bit, slide in into the small bit, and they're locked in place. Now on the back, you will see your multiple plugs. So, oh, just caught on my shirt. So this plug here is to go to the wall. That's your main power plug. This connection, every single red light panel that you buy from Biomax comes with one of these. It's like a jumper lead or extension cable. And what that does is, plugs in to the unit and then goes to the other unit so that transfers the power so you don't have to have multiple plugs going to the wall which is great and then down here sorry this unit is quite heavy um, you'll see that switch lead and follow that means you can establish which panel is your control unit the lead unit that means that unit does all the work from the control unit so you can set the timer on here that will then feed through to the other unit and uh, they work together. The units to talk to each other, you also get one of these three and a half mil cables and that goes in this plug here. Now all of this is supplied with each unit. Even if you just buy one unit on its own, you know, you don't buy multiple units, 
you don't plan on expanding, you still get all these cables. So now what I'm gonna do, now you know how it all works, I'm gonna clip them together uh, and set them all up and, and fire it up. Now, usually I'd hang this from the wall. I don't have anywhere to hang it here, so I'm just gonna connect them together and lean it against this wall. All right, so what I've got here is I've got the 900 sitting on the floor, and I'm gonna take my 450, which is actually gonna be the lead one, so I'm gonna flip that to lead on the back, and I'm gonna connect this in here like so. It just slots in, and then you pull it forward, and away you go. Now the manual actually says to connect it the other way. Have this hanging on the wall, and then lift the other panel up and, and slot it in. That just leaning on the wall there. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna show you how strong this is by lifting it up. All right, so, I hooked in there, as you can see, I'm lifting that up. That's actually quite heavy, but you can see how strong that is. I'm just gonna lean that against the wall. And now from a height point of view, I've gone from the 900, which went to hip height, to the 450 plus the 900, which goes to shoulder height. Um, ideally, having two 900s would be great because you know, we'd be up here and we've got full coverage. All right, so I've laid this down on the floor to make it easier uh, for me to show you how it works. I'm gonna use the 450 as the lead unit. So that's where the power's gonna go. This is this being my power cord. I've set that to lead, set the bottom one to follow. Now we're gonna use this three and a half mil adapter. So I'm gonna connect that into the lead and then put this one into follow, like so. Cool. All right, and then now we get the uh, extension cable here. We open this up and you'll see how this has a female end and a male end. So you could plug it into each other. Instead, we're gonna take one end Plug it up here on the 450. The other end's gonna go down here into the 900, like so. Uh, what I would do is then tie this together. Of course, we'll plug this into the wall, turn both units on, and then we'll fire it up. So I'm gonna leave this set up and put it back on the wall to show you how it works. So that's standing back up now. 450 on the top, the 900 on the bottom. As you can see from a distance, it looks Great, I mean, it doesn't look clunky or anything. Obviously, you do see the space in the middle where there aren't any LEDs, um, and there is gonna be a two-inch sort of zone where you're not getting maximal treatment. Remember, the LEDs do have a beam angle, so the light's not coming direct out, it does shine down. Uh, maybe in future uh, generations, we'll see the LEDs come higher up, who knows. But anyway, that's standing there, and I wanna show you uh, one thing real quick. You can probably see that cable running down the back, that's going up to the 450 at the top. And uh, as we look down, you'll see there are no other cables. So despite having two units there, there is only one power cable, which is very, very cool. Now, um, if we look on the side here, you'll see the power's on, right? So the timer, I've currently paused it, or turned it off. The timer on the top one has 19 minutes, 57 seconds. Now the bottom one says follow. So that means this one is the control unit. So if I turn this on, you can see they both work. Let me show you that from a distance. So I'm gonna turn the top one on by pressing OK. And they're both running. And now the top countdown timer is working its way down from 20 minutes. When that timer runs out, it'll turn this unit off and it'll also turn that unit off. If I wanna stop it, I press OK and they both stop. And if I want to control it, so only the, only one minute goes and only infrared light goes, turn that on. Now they're both running with the infrared light, which you won't be able to see. That's the modular expansion capabilities of the Platinum LED Biomix series. Um, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's very easy to use. I can set this up now and I've got a tall unit with one control, with one PowerPoint. Uh, I hope that answered any questions you may have had about this feature of the Biomax. Um, of course, if I've missed something, please leave a question below and I'll do my best to answer it. Check out my uh, in-depth reviews of the Biomax panels and uh, various videos uh, and be sure to hit subscribe. All right, and remember, if you do want to buy one of these or multiple panels, um, be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, and you will save some money. All right, guys. 
That's it for now. Bye.